Good morning YouTube, it's Scott with InsideTheCurve.com Back with another uh, cam for CNC router uh, tutorial uh, So yesterday we went over on making this pocket in here and we discussed how you need to make sure that you don't look at the part as a whole and kind of break it down in a segment so we started with this pocket and now we said we were going to move the holes and that's what we're going to do so to do that we see we got our tool paths to what we've done so far. We got the pocket where it came in and milled out the bulk of this, and then we have the contour where it came in and did this uh, radius part here. So we're going to go over here to 2D to do the holes now, and we are going to select uh, bore, and you have circular. So both these options would work for this. Uh, now since we're just going to be doing wood with this project, uh, we're going to select bore. So bore uh, goes down in a helix motion where the circular toolpath will go down in varying Z depths. I don't know if that kind of makes sense. So helix is kind of like a uh, like a roll, like threads on a bolt kind of going down pattern. Where a circular is like a floors of an elevator, if that makes any sense at all. So we're going to use bore just because we don't really care about uh, as much tool life management. Well, I shouldn't say that. We're, we're not cutting hardened, hardened steels where we want to make sure we have the full flute and engage and not just the uh, tip of it like you would with a bore. So maybe that kind of clears things up. So let's use bore here for this. Uh, we are going to select that quarter inch uh, uh, straight flute or two flute uh, cutter that we had for the roughing of the pocket. Uh, so we can see, we get this uh, inspect uh, tool to measure stuff in here. We could hit I on there and the shortcut told us. Well, let's see what the diameter of this was. Looks like 3 eighths, say in there. Oh, that I measure between it's where you use I again. Yeah, so 3 eighths diameter. And so we're at quarter inch cutter is going to work just fine. So come back over to 2D bore. Select our tool. Quarter inch flat end mill, two flutes. Still not going to worry about our feed rates. Uh, if you guys still want to go over some feed rates for wood and stuff, comment down below. Uh, select our geometry. So very cool thing in Fusion here. I have worked in uh, some other software before at my job, previous job. Uh, and select same to diameter is a great feature simply because what it says I've had to go through before and I've had to sit here and click and click and click and it is uh, not efficient not fun so alright so we're gonna select this hole and we're gonna select same diameter and it selected all the holes as simple as that I mean this is real quick easy stuff uh, you got some other things we can do here same hole depth blah 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 order by depth reverse order and you can optimize where your starting point is at, which is great. But we're good with this for what we got going on. Uh, we're going to go geometry, or let me, sorry. Yeah, retract heights and all that stuff. Well, everything should be rolling over from our previous tool pass. Which top stop, ba -ba, retract, clearance. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so then we want to select. Uh, so here we got our passes. Everything looks good there. Finish pass, we don't care about that. Uh, lead to center. I, I like to select this just to make sure that we don't we have a good diameter hole and don't have to worry about hitting any of the stock. So we'll select that. Uh, that looks pretty good. Go back to our passes. No, no stock to leave. We want to go all the way to final diameter. Hit OK on that. Right click on so you can right click on the uh, tool path in the tree over here and you can simulate each individual one. So we'll go ahead and hit play on this. So you can see how it's doing that helix motion down in there. You can see by the tail of the tool path. Alright, we'll go ahead and speed this up. I think you guys get the idea. And there you have it. That has how simple it is to put. Uh, a tool path with the bore feature instead of Fusion 360 for your uh, CNC router. So that concludes today's video. Tomorrow we'll go over cutting the EOP and doing a little bit of tab action. Make sure you get tabs to lock your part in real good. Uh, 
and then I think we'll stay Friday Saturday Sunday I'll make a video if you guys are interested uh, of actually cutting this part out on my CNC router so be sure to let me know in the comments down below you guys have a great day this is scout with inside the curve out.com out